here's George. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. So with Thomas sitting on the bench. Here's who Teron Lewis going with. The wing pairing, George and Leonard. Eric Lamanna is out there with Porzingis, and it's Vaughn in the point guard. First two. Substitution for the away team, Dwight Howard. George against Bryant. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. First personal foul. Let's take a look at the players who have Second pulled down the most rebounds during this postseason. Charlotte. Take a look at Miracle Man. He does a great job inside, one of the top First rebounders in the league. He's dialed up his rebounding here in the postseason. There's something about the big games that bring out the best in him. The rare guy who can do everything at both ends. Paul George gives you a chance to win every night. Feeds it to Bryant. And finish off by Bryant. Putting consistent pressure on this defense. Just the threat of him out there makes this offense work. Ball kicks to George. Outside, Brzingis. This one for three. The Hornets pull it in. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today. And there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. Now here's Goodrich. And Charlotte again with the bucket. And really not the quickest release, but a nice fluid stroke. And of course, Goodrich is a tremendous competitor. Ball against Goodrich. Porzingis sets the pick for ball. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's on Dwight Howard. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. It's his first trip to the line. Taking third overall in 2020. LaMelo Ball is a unique player. Like his brother Lonzo, very tall at the point at 6'6", and he'd much rather pass it than shoot it. Charlotte making a switch here. Brown's checked in. Now here's Goodrich. 14 points for him. LeBron is screen on George Bryant and that one goes long you're not going to see that very often plenty of space but he just let's face it he whiffs on that one. here's George yes once again it remains perfect six attempts and six hits so far George's competitive play has worked well he's getting just about everything to fall here's Goodrich the Clippers grab the miss Persingas has got four rebounds in this game Outside ball. That's the miracle man. And he goes up. by ball off that pick and roll. He, he can find clever ways to beat the defense. Back to Goodrich. Floats it up for James. Stolen by George. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. Inside. And it's thrown down hard with both hands. In perfect timing. This one is exactly what they needed, and it's right when they needed it. They couldn't afford to wait any longer. Now here's Goodrich. Kobe, that's for two. And no good. The dry spell continuing for him. Clippers trail by 19. Third quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. Ball, the best to Miracle Man, and the dunk to finish it off by Beauty. And, and looking a lot better now, but still a long way to go to get back into this one. Very nice stretch from them, but the reason why they're not into this game, they have to get some stops. But only the first miss of the second half. They've come out here with authority. Now George, 16 points for him. 
pass to Persingas and stolen by James. Third quarter action in just under three and a half minutes have gone. And the basket by Hill. Yeah, it's good to see Hill knocking down the long ball because that really will help his confidence. And it's ball penetrating. He's gone two for two at the line so far. At the line for your goal. Free throw awarded to the Mellow Ball. That's good from Ball. Ball hits them both. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. Here's Quinn. Over ball. A shot by Quinn, no good. And it's Porzingis with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. They trail by 18. Short. The rebound by Bryant. Unusual for him, just a lack of concentration. Fails to finish the play. Down low. There's the steal. Pass to Quinn. Fires the three. Porzingis with the block. In the 7 3 reach of Porzingis, being put to great use there. Ball gets to Leonard. They set the pick. That one, no good. And the Hornets now going the other way. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. He's been a big factor in their offense tonight, making shot after shot. Now, here's George. He's got 16. Banked in off the glass. George has got 18 points in the game. At six foot eight, Paul George is a threat inside, looking very comfortable from in there. To the paint, Porzingis with the block. Ball feeling it out a bit. Kicks to Leonard. Porzingis sets the pick for Leonard. Pass to Persingas. And the dunk by Persingas. It's no secret that Kawhi has focused on improving his passing. Great look there. To the wing right side. Here's Quinn. Brown with a screen on ball. Persingas with the block. Outside ball. against Leonard. Pass the Miracle Man. Good for another bucket. He's made half a dozen now. Six for eight on the night. Really well done there. Just confident and composed. Never in a hurry. Oh, what an impressive dribble drive. That replay brought to you by Mobile One. And even down big, the effort and energy is still there to try and make a comeback. Porzingis with the block, and he recovers it. And, and I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for Charlotte. High effort, fast break plays. They have been very effective for them in this game. Generate a lot of points for them. And also, guys, how about the hustle we've seen on the boards? They're getting after it and cashing in on second chance scoring opportunities. Catching up on the changes for the Clippers. Holmgren, he's checked in for Miracle Man. James Harden comes in for George. And Thomas subbed in for Ball. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. And now the first timeout called here for the Hornets. to Payne. Charlotte moving it around. 
screen by Howard. Payne with it. Now guarded by Porzingis. Howard. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And Dwight Howard, he is so huge. Once he gets solid positioning, he welcomes the contact on the way up. So one for two that time at the strike. Clippers trail by 15. Thomas Payne covering out to Porzingis. Whistle blows, basket is good. So a chance here for a three point play. I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And at 7 3, Porzingis could have been just another big, but he defies expectations. He's got such an impressive array of abilities. Here's Quinn. Dishes at the paint. Hill looking around. Six to shoot. The Hornets need to get a shot off here. They get the rebound. Off target at the rim. And here's Thomas who brings it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. A 12-point game. Outside Leonard. Porzingis sets the pick for Leonard. Hill pulls it in. Hill's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Over Thomas. And the basket by Hill. Hill's got nine. And I love the tenacity, guys. He simply can will his way into games at times and exert his presence. Now here's Leonard. Five points in the game for Zingas. And the dunk by Porzingis. In the pick and roll, I like confidence. Leonard Sean as a facilitator. His game just continues to ascend. Pass to Payne. Bet. He's guarded by Thomas. Stolen by Thomas. Going inside. And it's sent back by Howard. Tremendous defensive effort from Dwight Howard. He knows how to get the job done on that end. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. The Hornets have gone 5 of 8 from the charity stripe here tonight. At the line for the Hornets, Grant Hill at the line for two. Free throw drops for Hill. And the word you got to use is explosive out there when we're talking about Grant Hill. He's one of those guys who doesn't wait for the game to come to him. He, he goes out and just makes things happen. He's living there tonight, a tough guy to guard without fouling. And the bonus, he's going to knock him down. Now here's Harden. He's got 16, and it's sent back by Howard. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Hill with it. He's picked up by Holmgren. All the officials are all over that. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. The first one falls. At the line for the Hornets, Grant Hill, two shots. Both free throws good from Hill. And the Clippers call time here. Clippers trail by 16. Now here's Thomas. He kicks to Holmgren. Six on the shot clock. Here's Persingas. Six for ten with that shot going in. That's a good game for a lot of guys. And because he can score from all over the floor, Porzingis can find space inside. That's not the case for most seven foot. Passes it to Quinn. And down it goes, jamming that one home. 
here he comes, and there he goes. Oh, look at him punish that rim. On our AT&T 5G Slam Cam, you just saw an explosive highlight. Now here's Harden. 16 points for him. Porzingis can't hit. Outside Hill. Here's Perbeck, and down it goes. Dunk through off a wonderful assist. Beautiful location on the pass, as usual. Led his man perfectly. Now, here's Thomas. Payne covering. Kicks it out to Leonard. Porzingis sets the pick for Harden. And the basket is good. Harden's got 18 points in the game efficient performance from him not the case for everyone else on his team charlotte calls timeout and they're picking up a lot of fouls already in the penalty not a good sign they need to focus on moving their feet and maintaining a good defensive position james checked in for the hornets goodrich comes in for pain One oh six left to play here in the third. Goodrich passes to Howard. James outside. And the three off target. And here's Thomas who brings it up for the Clippers. A trail by 16. Persingas with a screen on Goodrich. Williams is checked in for the Hornets. Line for your turn. Taking two shots. And he can't get the first one. He hits the second from the line. Hornets leading by 15. Outside Hill. It's deflected. And stolen by Thomas. Solid play on the low block, and that one's good. Thomas got his second basket of the night. His team is down because he's not shooting enough. There's no reason he shouldn't be getting more looks right now. Count the basket. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. And Los Angeles guys uh, shooting fantastically in this game. 62% from the floor. Porzingis sets the pick for Leonard. Hornets with the rebound. Hill's got rebound number eight now on the night. Let's it go from deep. And the last second attempt is not going for him. And so it's the Charlotte Hornets. Their lead at 15 going into the break. And their ability to get points in the paint has made all the difference in this one. We come back right after this. Now to coach Teron Liu. Okay, okay. And we're ready to get back into the action here in game one. Let's see what this quarter has in score for. So with Howard sitting on the bench, this is who Steve Clifford has out there. They've got LeBron James. Kobe is out there with Gooden. That's Hill. That's their third straight mate off an assist. And here is Thomas to the middle. And Persingas gets it to go on the assist from Thomas. Persingas has got 11 in the second half. Charlotte leading by 15. Goodwin's with it. Right side, Kobe shoots the three. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Miracle Man's got four rebounds in this game. To the inside, short. And George with the stuff. 
What an athlete Paul George is, leaping up with such ease on those throwdowns. Floats it up for Hill, deflects the pass. It's hauled in by Persingas. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Now, here's Thomas. Outside, Brzingis from deep. Grant Hill grabs the miss. The Hornets have gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. The drive by James, and it's blocked. On the wing, George. He's guarded by Hill. And George kicks to Porzingis. Off target with his three. The Hornets shooting percentage, 59%. The offense is running smoothly. James, the pass to Goodrich. Wants to get it to Kobe and does. One of the most dangerous scores in the game. Bryant is taking no prisoners on the offensive end. Outside Thomas. Now the pass to Miracle Man, and he jams it with authority. <laughs> and no doubt, they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does break. Now here's Goodrich. It's Kobe Bryant on the way. A 19-foot shot, and they pick up two. Bryant's got 32 points in the game. These are big buckets. He's been instrumental in helping them try to close out this game. Persingas with a screen on Goodrich. Thomas passes to Persingas. And the dunk by Persingas. Hey, what a luxury to run pick and roll with Persingas. Hey, he can roll to the basket or pop out before that jump shot. And the Hornets call time here. And now we present our New Balance player of the game, Dwight Howard. Yeah, and his percentage from the field tonight, just amazing. He hadn't just been gunning. He, he's been picking his spots, and, and you need that kind of patience and discipline to shoot as well as he has. You know, that's how you send a message to open a series. There's always one player who's the difference maker in the playoffs, and I think we found our man. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Ove. David. Hey, Kevin. Well, look, here's what Steve Clifford went over with his guys during the break. He said, nobody thought we'd be in this position right now, and we are. He said he was proud of his guys, and he also said, now go finish this thing off and get this win. Kevin. Thank you, David. And here are the Hornets now. After the basket by Los Angeles. Bryant gets a wide open look. And again, the Hornets missing. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. George against Hill. Persingas sets the pick for George. Pass to Persingas. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. He'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistent. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. Now Goodrich. Written by James. He takes it in. It's deflected. They retain possession. A second chance effort. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. And the first one drops. Shooting two. Shooting two. Good on both. Well, he's come through for them at the line today, and you love having a big fella who's so capable on his free throw. Porzingis with a screen on Goodrich. Outside for George. It's stolen by Hill. Three on three. Here's LeBron. And James throws it down hard. Oh, okay. I guess LeBron wanted that one to sting a little. He put a little extra on that one. There's a good screen. Ball with it. He's picked up by LeBron. And that one, good. And that's now 18 points for Miracle Man. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain it. Here's Goodrich. On the windmill. Here's Perbeck. And he slams it one-handed. 
And love the pass from Hill right there. A true team player. Now, here's Thomas. Driving inside. And he uses the glass on the way up. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. And here is Goodrich. Pass to Kobe. Here's Quebec. Nice D from Porzingis. Clippers trail by 10. George with the ball. He's still up. Now he is 9 of 10. I like how Paul George comes off the screen under control. Right up into his shooting motion. Smooth. Outside, Kobe. Grant Hill on the wing. The pass to Goodrich. Here's LeBron. And James throws it down. Anytime. can get LeBron something right at the rim, that's good offense. Goodrich against Thomas. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. James with it. Now Thomas defending. Rosingas with the steal. Miracle man, the pass to George. His 11th attempt is no good. He's made 9 of those 11. And so it's Hill with it. He brings it up for the Charlotte Hornets. Ten-point lead. Takes it inside. Oh, that's blocked. And they'll get another chance. Goodrich against Thomas. Lock at six. Teardrop shot. Again with the block. Uh, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six block. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. A miracle man and the shot goes in <laughs> miracle man's got it back down to within single digits for the clippers charlotte has gotten off to an 0 for two start from downtown here in the fourth quarter outside kobe three-pointer it's rebounded by porzingis porzingis has got double digit rebounds now in the game miracle man and it's good. Looking quite sharp with 10 of 12 shooting tonight. And that's 10 straight points in the paint. The defense, nowhere to be found. Here's the screen. Thomas against Goodrich. Here's Perbeck. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. If you came to watch a scoring battle, you're in the right place. Yeah, both teams trying to close out strong. These are the fireworks that fans came to see. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And first one falls for Leonard, he's checked in for ball. At the line for two. That one misses. And, and, and really credit their advantage on the backboard. That's where the lead has been built. And that's why they are in control. Not in rhythm. He had the two triples in the first half. None so far in the second. Leonard looking over the floor to the middle. And with that, the Hornet lead is cut down now to just five on the basket from Chris Depps. Porzingis. The Hornets shooting has been fun to watch in this game. They're at 57%. The feed now to Goodrich. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. LeBron's got his eighth assist here tonight. What unselfish play from LeBron. You can tell he wants to get everyone involved. Now, here's George. And Leonard has it in the corner. Hill with it. Leonard picks him up. It's Goodrich on the wing. Here's Perbeck. And the rejection by Leonard. This is the power of the claw in action. 
Kawhi Leonard using his natural gifts to gobble up that shot. Passes it to Kobe. Hill against George. Inside for Ben. A great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and nasty jam. He takes advantage of them in every way possible. And Greggy lures them into a trap on the steal, and then bang, straight to the bucket. Great activity at both ends. Great teamwork as well. Lamelo ball, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Clippers trail by nine. Now George. To the paint, picked him clean. Looking over the floor for the three. It's rebounded by Leonard. Leonard's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And they funk this quarter. He's trying to shoot his way out of it. Doing his job on the glass and doing it with force. And Greg, it's not everybody in the league who can make those kinds of plays. You know, this is one of his specialties. Keeping plays alive. Creating second chance opportunities. Last a miracle man. And stolen by LeBron. Unloads. No good off the back of the rim. LA's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Outside ball. With the drive. And the call will be against Lamelo Ball. That'll be his second foul of the game. Oh, great defense there. Anticipated the play and got there first. Always good to get another look at a terrific defensive play. And that block was something. It's the playoffs. And every possession and defensive stop matters. Bryant with it. George picks him up. And it's sent back by George. Not going to be Paul George with that move. He's too long and too talented of a defender. Outside, Brzingis to stop the drought. Doesn't go for him. And Charlotte will come the other way. 115 left here in the fourth quarter. Outside, Bryant on the wing hill. Down to five on the shot clock. Porzingis with the block. Ball, the pass to Miracle Man. And he uses both hands to jam it in. And there's one aspect of the game that Melo's not going to ignore. Keeping his teammates involved in the offense working as a unit. Now here's Goodrich. Outside, Kobe. On the wing hill. He's covered by Lennox. Yeah, they suck the energy out of this arena. Tremendous effort on the road. And when you're on the road, you can't be tentative coming into a game like this. I thought their aggressive approach was the difference. And George with the stuff. And with those long strides, it takes Paul George no time to get to the rim. Here's Perbeck. How's that for an answer? Right back with the dunk. And it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. It's called killer instinct. It's one thing to be close at the end. It's another to finish. Here's Miracle Man. Got it. Good job in the low post. You know he's pulling his weight, but they still find themselves behind. And so it's Charlotte with the win. And you got to feel good about getting each and every game here in the postseason. You know, Kevin, each game is, is just so significant and, and magnified. This has got to feel really good. So that's a wrap for the first game of the NBA Finals. For Steve Smith, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us. We'll see you next time.
Shout it for grandma. Yep, now I be on TV. BET, I will channel. Player from Bankhead, I stay my grandma now.